Hello again everybody, Tiger727 back with another video. This video is a little bit different than what I've been doing. Uh, mostly you always see mail days or um, this large collection that I've recently purchased and showing you the stuff I got from that. Obviously you can see some of the same stacks in the background. I just have not had time to um, make my lists or enter some of these cards from my PC. That's what those stacks are way in the back there. Um, but this, uh, this video is kind of a piggyback um, off of Topps Vintage 316. If you haven't checked out his channel, I highly recommend you do. Um, collects a lot of 70s sets and uh, pretty interesting videos. Gives you some background on the cards and the history of cards. and I uh, really enjoy watching this stuff. So Topps Vintage 316, highly recommend you watch it. So he did a video, I don't know, a few weeks back in regards to his A to Z collection. And I actually sent him a message to see if it was okay if I did the same thing for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, it would help me organize a little bit. And because uh, I've been kind of switching over how I want to do it. You know, I'll have my, how I do it is my less do you know, dollar value part of it is if it's less than $5, it goes in pages. Um, I got my numbered cards. Um, on their own, they're serial numbered rookie cards, um, but I think I'm just going to go alphabetically is what I'm going to switch to, um, and then I also got rookie cards, and I'm just getting to the point where I'm getting overwhelmed as to what I have, so, and I do use a, a Google Sheets, and I have numerous different files in my Google Sheets, um, years ago I bought the, I think it was called Sports Card Collector, was the, uh, computer program but they went out of business and I've just uh, so in the June of 18 I started a Google sheet and that's where I um, keep all my PC broken down by files uh, knowing what I have or don't have and then I still forget what I have or don't have so what I'm gonna do uh, to help myself organize and to help you guys obviously see my collection is over a long period of time here, I'm going to do a series of A to Z, kind of like uh, Topps Vintage 316, and show you my collection from A to Z. Um, I've alp alphabetized my collection uh, by last name, and you can see the uh, Brady Anderson pages there and some Rick Ann Keels in the background. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with these pages and we'll get those out of the way. Um, but way back in the early 90s, I was always a Brady Anderson fan. Um, never, you know, solid ball player. But uh, most of his stuff isn't really worth a whole lot of money. But um, this uh, this hobby is not always about the dollar value, as I've mentioned before. It's about uh, just enjoying the hobby and collecting what you like. So I'm not going to break down every card here. But as you can see, um, just looking at the cards here. A lot of early 90s, mid 90s stuff, a little bit of late 80s. Uh, let's see. I remember these upper deck cards. I, I opened so many packs of these. Um, it was ridiculous. And uh, if you guys remember the uh, Tops Black Gold from the early 90s, I actually got this whole set. Speaking of sets, these cards, the A to Z, does not include uh, sets. Um, like all my top sets that I have. Um, these are just singles that I have. Um, memorabilia cards, rookie cards, so on and so forth. Numbered cards. Um, and then it does not include, for the most part, it does not include my Tiger collection. Moving into Rick Ankeels. Um, I always like Rick Ankeel. Um, Obviously, there's another Brady Anderson at the bottom there just for space saver. But uh, obviously, if you know the history of Rick Ankeel, uh, came up as a pitcher, uh, started off wonderfully, and then uh, really, really began to struggle, had some arm trouble, couldn't figure things out, and uh, basically retired and then came back as an outfielder and played for, uh, he played outfielder, I think, for the Cardinals for a bit, and then went to the Nationals and played for the Braves, I think, for a year. A um, couple more cards in the background here. It's a uh, Fleer Focus, numbered <coughs> 
to 8,999. I love numbered cards. I actually think that's 3,999. And then this 2,000, I believe it is. Yes, 2,000 Pacific. Rick and Kiel numbered to 99. I believe this was a Christmas present from my in-laws quite a few years back. And if you haven't, about three, four years ago, um, came out with a book called The Phenomenon. Um, good read. It's easy read. So if you're into, um, obviously into uh, reading or just reading about baseball, it's a good book. I highly recommend it. Moving into some newer stuff. Got this uh, Pete Alonzo Tops Gold, number to 2020. Another Pete Alonzo rookie card. I do have a, uh, well, I won't, I won't give you a spoiler alert, but I uh, do have a Pete, Pete Alonzo card that I've submitted to PSA, so I'm curious to see how that's going to come back. This card I bought last summer uh, on eBay. Apparently it was some promotion that they did at City Field only, I believe, if I remember right. I uh, paid a few bucks for this on eBay. So obviously Tim Tebow's on there as well. Um, I highly doubt he'll ever make the majors, but seems to be a fan favorite. Uh, rookie debut, Alonzo, rookie card. Once I get that PSA back, um, I will show that as well. Uh, a couple of these, actually. Bowman Chrome. Uh, and I got the uh, Topps Chrome, Pete Alonzo, rookie. And not 100% sure if I'm going to collect this guy or not, uh, but I just wanted some of his, uh, his uh, well, it should be his rookie card, I believe, from my understanding. So then I got his uh, 2020 Bowman <clears throat> as well, the base card. Uh, I, like the, I like Miguel Andujar. I also like Clint Flair Frazier, so you'll see him further on down the road when I get to the Fs. Uh, but I am an Andujar fan, not a Yankee fan. <laughs> it's tough to like the Yankees. Uh, Anduhar uh, Holiday Metallic Rookie Card Bowman Chrome Mini when I bought this card I didn't realize it was a Mini um, But when it came in I was like well my, my mistake But I'm going to keep it anyway And then a uh, Anduhar Chrome Rookie Actually I got two of those So I won't bother to show you both and I got a coming attraction rookie. And I do not collect an Arenado, but I wanted his Bowman rookie. And then uh, after I bought this, or a while after I bought this, I decided that I need uh, that I was going to make all the or <clears throat> get all the Bowman sets. So I need this for my set anyway. So I'm going to hang on to that. Williams Austin Dio, I like him. Don't know how well he's going to be, or even if he's going to be on the Twins this year, but uh, Chrome Rookie Card. And then this is the, um, I can never remember what these are. They're, they are a reprint, but uh, I always want to say vintage, but it's, uh, no, it's not vintage, it's heritage. It's, uh, I can't remember what it is. Maybe it is vintage, Tops Vintage. The, uh... Chrome Rookie Sepia, I believe that's a refractor. Yes, it is. And the pink refractor. I believe that is. Yep, refractor. And then a couple autographs. Um, Williams Austin Dio autograph. Picked this up on eBay, I think, for a couple dollars. I, mean, I really like these... Uh, um, gallery cards. I was going to make this set, but now I'm, I'm kind of debating. And then I was out in Phoenix back in December. Um, for those of you that don't, don't know, I am a Diamondback fan as well, ever since they came into the league in 98. I like Nick Ahmed, so I picked up an autograph for him, numbered out of 299. I think I paid $5 for this card, or $6 at a card shop out there. It's a rookie card, so... Um, but yeah, I'm a Diamondback fan as well. Pretty much every baseball fan has an American League and a National League team, and Arizona's my National League team. So 
Um, so that's basically how I organize uh, for the organized that I am, I guess. A little bit organized. I prefer to be much more organized, but time's always an issue. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, if you got any ideas on how to better organize or how you do it, feel free to leave those comments. Um, let me know what you think of the cards. And uh, everybody have a good day, good evening, and hope you're having a good week.